everybody, my name is Katrina Hafner and I am running for one of the five open spots for the SSDP Board of Directors. Now, let me tell you why I have decided to run. A little over a year ago, I stepped up to become the new president of Western Washington University's chapter of SSDP. Before then, I did believe that the war on drugs was a failure and needed to end, but I didn't go much beyond trying to educate people about it through social media and organizing presentations advocating for drug legalization and decriminalization at my school. I knew that it was time to not only learn more for myself, but to begin my drug policy activism. Last summer, I attended Seattle Hemp Fest as a VIP member and tabled for SSDP at the U.S. Cannabis Cup in Seattle. In October, I went to the International Drug Policy Reform Conference in Denver. On March 1st, I attended my first SSDP conference in San Francisco. Because of the shortcomings of I-502 in Washington State, many activists worked together last year, including me, to try to get I-584 on the ballot this November. Now we are doing the same with I-648, trying our hardest to get it voted on in November of 2015. This is one endeavor that I have been spending my time on this summer. Another thing I have been doing this summer is helping to get younger people involved with drug policy activism, which I have done by bringing interested students to Seattle Hemp Fest and the U.S. Cannabis Cup to network and expand their knowledge of marijuana policy. Not only did I attend HempFest again this summer, I spoke on all three stages to tell attendees why becoming an active participant is important and how to help the cause. As you can see, I have come a long way from when I first became president of Western's chapter. Becoming a member of SSDP's board of directors is, what I feel, an appropriate step in the right direction to make an even more positive impact for our movement. As you heard me say, I have been working on improving upon I-502 in Washington, which is where I go to school. A problem with the Pacific Northwest is that SSDP chapters sporadically both start up and die out. Western Washington University's chapter is the only one in the state that has been going for a few years and is still around. We need more of a presence in this region, and if elected to the board, I can more easily establish this hold. You may be thinking, sure, this girl has been actively involved with our cause, but how else is she qualified for such a high and worthy position within our organization? Well, I am glad to tell you that I have had a plethora of leadership experience ever since high school with my Air Force JROTC program. In college, I have been the president of quite a few clubs on campus and was inducted to and served as an officer for my school's chapter of a national leadership organization. I firmly believe that everybody on all levels has something insightful to offer. Neither I nor necessarily any person at the top has all the answers. I believe that collaboration is the most efficient and productive means of achieving our goals. SSDP's board of directors need to be accessible to the rest of the organization's members, to all leadership positions. Another important aspect, a requirement actually, of the Board of Directors is to be able to communicate well. I write in a variety of forms, was a newsreader, and am now a DJ for my school's radio station, and have been trained as an actor for film and stage. It is vital that the Board of Directors relay a sense of knowledge and professionalism to the pu public, which is in one way achieved by effective communication through many mediums. I can assure you, that I have the experience and the passion necessary to be elected to the Board of Directors. This video is definitely not enough to address every concern and curiosity one may have about my run, so feel free to ask me any questions. Most importantly, vote for reliability and innovation. Vote for me, Katrina Hafner, to serve these next two years for you on the SSDP Board of Directors.